in Ohio, in Cincinnati. Uh, I met a lot of people that were fans of Strong Opinion Sports. It happened multiple times where people were like, you're Zach Schaumler. I recognize you from the internet. Or I like your videos. And um, it's not a new thing. It's happened to me a lot in the last, about rough, roughly last year, where I run into people that go, you're Zach Schaumler, or you make videos, or this or that. And I, I've never known how to respond. And it feels awkward. <sighs> yeah, I think it mess, it, it's very easy for that to mess with your head because you have to be very secure in who you are. Because if you if you're not proud of your work or you're not sure if you're un, if you're not confident, people are telling you I love you, you're awesome, and you're like ah, I'm not like you don't you don't feel worthy of the praise. But then there's another edge to it too, where you also can't let it go to your head. You can't be like oh yeah, you better like my work. I'm better than you. What there's there's a weird middle ground there. There's a ditch on either side of the road, and you don't want to be in either and one. The road's not very narrow. The road's not very wide. The road is very narrow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying you're trying with the metaphor um and it's there's a fine line there you have to walk is maybe how we'll put it and i i've had to deal with that how to how to learn how do you when people come up to you and like your work you have to have a game plan like and not in like a strategic way just in a you'd better know how to deal with that and i, I learned on this trip for the first time i finally understand what to do when people come up to me and say i love your work and all you can do because it's honest is just say thank you yeah, it, was, it was fun at the stadium. You had two different people who, who saw on Instagram that you that Zach Schaumler's here at the stadium in Paul Brown Stadium, and then they wanted to come and say hi to you. And to me, it was so precious. You know, they wanted to say hi to you, and they were nervous and they were excited. And you know, I was excited to take their pictures. Um, and I'm glad you've come to peace with what to say when those people they're they're excited to be around you. I've always felt it's like an unnecessary stress. I'm, am I supposed to be like? Because on on the show, I'm very proud. Of, I'm witty and I have things to say. And in person, I'm not as I'm just who I am. And I'm like, do I need to, am I supposed to ask them like a pithy question or tell them a little story? Or if I don't have something prepared, like a, I'm not on, I'm not, I'm not recording at that moment. Am I supposed to be, who am I supposed to be when I meet people? Just gracious, just grateful and happy to meet them. And that's, it actually was a great relief. Now going forward the rest of my life, whenever I meet people who like strong opinion sports or are fans of the show, I know what to do. Just say, Hey man, thank you. Like you, I'm in Cincinnati cause you watch my videos and that pays me money. Like I'm very grateful for everything that happens and I, I i'm grateful for the life i get to live and the fact that i get to make a show and that's because of you watching or listening and that just means the world to me and that's all i need to say i mean i don't need to put on a performance well and you know you're speaking a topic near and dear to my heart because when i meet with people i say oh man it's so awesome you can you can f start building some content we're going to help you put out content i'll help you um harness the power of social media and leverage the power of storytelling and then you'll build a brand and you'll have fans and then we'll care for their fan you'll care for your fans and then yep. they hang their heads they're like oh i can't have fans and i wouldn't mean you can't have fans because they oh no they can't have fans um, and so I, you know, a while ago I did teaching where I said, no, it's okay to have fans. And I told people there's nothing wrong with having fans. And I did teaching, um, I have a video up, you know, uh, what is a fan.com? And a fan is someone, if you're thinking, what the heck, what's that? It's got fans. Everybody, yes, you have fans. First, if you're going to succeed at anything, having a restaurant, having a dive bar, having a, um, being a brewery, a brewery uh, being an attorney, being a plumber, you got to have fans. You have to have fans. Because there has to be word out there that, hey, the product I'm selling is good. Yes. And so you, first, you have to have fans. Second, it's okay to have fans. But what is a fan? A fan is someone who they like your thing. They like how you do your thing or your take on your thing, and then they like you. When someone likes all three, they become a fan, and they want to help you, and they want to follow your journey. There's nothing wrong with them. There's yeah. not a – I think uh, there was a while where I was daunted. I was like, oh, no. It's like, fans are great. <laughs> they like you. They want you to do good. They're, ha they're happy to cheer you on. I mean, there's I've – never, I've never met a fan who says – Screw you! I hate you. It just never happened to me yet. Um, yeah, those aren't those aren't all those those people aren't those the fans. people exist. Those people <laughs> exist, but they don't come talk to me in person. Yeah, no one's gonna go out of the way. It's never happened to me yet that someone's gone out of their way to say, "Screw you! I hate you." They'd say it on the internet, but that person isn't come seeking me out in Cincinnati. Yeah, and this having a fan thing is really really important. Um, you know, I I recently started the Spark to Bonfire channel to put out my life change teaching, yeah. and I'm gonna be putting together a resource. Um, you can build your brand. The 13 doable steps I use. The things I taught you to build your brand. The things I did to build my brand and then i realized oh i have to put together this fan stuff so people kind of can get their heads around it so um you can
YouCanHaveFans.com is the resource I'm putting together. I've got 10 videos in the works. Um, thank you for laying the groundwork for me to realize, oh, okay, I can do videos. Um, big breakthrough for me that happened this fall, and you were a big part of it, uh, you and uh, my sweetheart Karen. But it's an important topic that people, like you said, you don't want to not care for them. You yeah. don't want to think that you're, you know, oh, you're too good. You know, of course I have fans. That's not good. And so yeah. there's, a lot to, there's a lot of ways to screw up. You, it's an important topic. It just goes back to, and it has to be honest. I don't think it works if you're not honest, like genuine, but um, I'm just genuinely grateful. And, and I got to do a better job, I think, saying it on a strong opinion. Sports every episode, like, I hope it's clear, man. I, I love what I do, and I'm so grateful that you guys watch because it, it allows me to have my, <laughs> my dream life. I mean, I'm so happy, and I love doing what I'm doing, and it's because people watch strong opinion sports.